Regular viewers know that not only do I cover retro computers, but sometimes the tools I use to repair them. And in a recent video, I had an occasion to play with the iFu. Check that video out if you want more information. What is the iFu? Well, the iFu is a mini precision power screwdriver. And I featured it in a previous video. Check out the link below. But today, I need to break open this cool little retro gaming device here. This is the Link 4 Handheld Gaming System. And I want to break it open and see what's inside and what makes this little thing tick. And in order to do that, of course, I could, in fact, break out the iFu. But today, I have a little something special. The folks over at LifeGoo sent me this. A 62-in-1 precision electronic screwdriver set. 62-in-1, that's a lot of stuff. So before we break open this, we're going to take a look at this. So here's the device I'm going to crack open for us it is the Link 4 handheld. And I've done a collection of videos on these little handheld devices, but this is one that is starting to grow on me and I'm planning a little travel and I plan to throw this in my backpack and take it with me. Let me show you just what this looks like quickly. And as you can see, it's a standard little handheld that has numerous emulators for retro gaming, including some of those 8-bit machines we know and love. But I'm gonna go ahead and power this off and I want to remove the back here to check out the battery and also remove these screws to see what makes this little guy tick. And that is where this little box comes in. In full disclosure, this product was sent to me free of charge. I am reviewing it at no obligation to them as far as what I have to say. They were just kind enough to send this to me to take a look at and see if I might be able to use this on my channel. Okay, let's go ahead and open the box. It's a beautiful box, I will say that. It's got a very good quality. It's got this embossed lettering in here which is really nice we have two boxes inside i wasn't expecting that let's go ahead and set those here and we have our instruction manual so it appears it is usb-c that is a plus here are the using steps i don't think we're going to need those i think we can figure this thing out without actually digging into this instruction manual all right let's dig into the box let's do the small box first and see what's in here looks like we have some tools and accessories in here that hopefully will eventually go into the larger box quite a few things in here all right it looks like it is USB-C so that's what's in this accessory box right here let's dig in and see what's in the main box all right inside here here is wow this is nice this is our magnetic pad now I again I'm hoping that a lot of this stuff will fit in here I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this if that doesn't fit in here so we'll have to see what happens here uh, so this is uh, make your repair easy. This is supposed to be magnetic. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, so that would make sure that you don't lose any screws. That's going to be handy. So we'll set that aside here. Let's go ahead and open this up. It does appear to be branded Life Goo. I don't know where these names come through. Ifu and Life Goo. Mm -hmm. All right, this is very, this case is very nice. Just to kind of give you a comparison, let me show you the iFu. This is the iFu. It is a plastic case, but everything just kind of fits nice in here. But this case is also magnetic, but this is a plastic case. Now on the LifeGoo, this appears to be metal. It is, uh, it is pretty nice. It feels just a little more substantial, feels a little more polished, a little more professional. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's a nice touch. So check this out. When you click it, it's clicked in, it's not going to come out, and then you can tap it again, and there's like a detent in there that opens and closes it. That is pretty nice. Really like the feel of this. This Check this out. I just think that is the sharpest thing. Nice touch life, Goo. I'm going to be doing this all day. That is just cool. All right, so we slide this open. So what I've learned already is all these extra tools, I have no idea what I'm going to do with them. However, it does appear within this case, we have the screwdriver and the tips that we need. I do appreciate these extra long tips over here. That's pretty nice. Let's take a look at the screwdriver right here. This looks really nice. Uh, this has precision electronic screwdriver. Looks like we have a light here. Uh, we have our tools here. I'm not sure what that is. We'll have to take a look at that. Um, that oh, that's the light. Here we go. Turns your little light on and off. How about that? Very nice. 
All right, let's go ahead and undo our cable. I want to see what it looks like when we uh, have it plugged in and are charging this screwdriver. And again, it is USB-C, which we really like here on the channel. Plug that in and there we go, there's our light. Okay, so according to the instructions, white means it's charging. This will turn green and when it turns green, that means it's fully charged. Before we open this device right here, let me go ahead and just compare the iFu to the Life Goo. Again, here's the iFu. You can see it's a little harder to read. They both are USB-C. The difference being though, when you charge the iFu, the charging light is on the back. I mean, it's kind of hard to see, as a matter of fact. So this is a big improvement for the Life Goo, just for the fact that you can see that it's charging. So big win there for the Life Goo. They both feel, and this is uh, obviously this, I, I don't have a scale, but they both feel about the same, about the same weight. I can't really feel a difference. We do have a little bigger nose here for the bits themselves. The uh, Again, the, the thing I like he here, you turn this on, the light's on, but this one you can leave it on. So you could use this as a little flashlight without having to have the motor. I think the key though is you're gonna need to remember to turn it off, whereas the iFu, the light's only on, but I don't think you really wanna use this as a flashlight with that on all the time. Uh, again, I do like that they include these extra long screws because I found a lot of times that the screws are recessed in our retro computers. They're deep down in there and you have a lot of depth. That is really good. So not necessarily a retro example, but this is an M-Audio M-Track. If you look under this camera right here, you'll notice uh, the screw, and it's hard to see, but it's, it's so hard to see as a matter of fact, because that screw is way down there. Now, with the iFu, I could not reach into that space and get to that screw. But with this extra long, you can see I can get down there and get to that screw, which is really nice. And if I want to magnetize this so that I can get that screw out of there, let's just kind of wave it in here a little bit. Come in here and you'll see we have it magnetized right there. We'll go ahead and put it here so we don't lose it on our magnetized pad. That's pretty nice. Look at that, there we go. And that would have not been possible with my iFu because it does not include an extra long bit. So thank you so much LifeGoo for that extra long bit. I will say this, again, because I, I focus on retro computing and repairs, this is gonna be perfect for a lot of computers where that screw is really far down there and uh, this will be able to take care of that. So a win there for the LifeGoo for sure. Oh, check this out, it's magnetic. They will not fall out and look on the back, we have additional screws. So what I've decided is I'm gonna just throw all those extra tools back in this white box for storage. All right, let's break open the Link 4 and see what's inside this little guy with our new LifeGoo Precision Screwdriver. And you can see these are really tiny screws. This is why a precision screwdriver just in general is good, but one that's power is just gonna be even more useful. That's why I love these little guys. All right, let's see which screw we wanna use. Now to get these out of here, what I found is the easiest way is just to push here, and then that'll bring that up enough that you can grab this right out of here. Looks like this one might work well here. Let's see. Yeah, that one's perfect. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put that in. I don't need the long one. And again, it's locked when, it, when you don't use the motor. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get these started by hand. And then I'm gonna use the motorized function for the rest of it. That is pretty good. So put that over there so we don't lose it. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try and see if I can pull that out with actually without even using a manual turn on it. Let me see what happens here. Yeah, it's actually able to get that screw out of there. I did have that problem on some other devices. There we go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take out the battery as well. This is just perfect, I have to say. This is perfect for these types of jobs. I already recommend this thing. Now I've got another screw here, I've got it under the QC. Well, we're just gonna get rid of that because over here at the channel, we believe that we should be able to fix anything we have. I have just voided a warranty for each and every one of you. Okay, all right, let's see what we have inside here. There we go, let's just do it that way. Okay, we've got the battery out. This is one of those 
Nokia BP5L batteries that we've been seeing in a lot of these things. All right, so here we go. Oh, it looks like we have on the Link 4 covered up the chip that we have in here. Or what is that? That is, look at that. That's an SD card. In, there's an SD. This is an interesting device because this runs, this includes an SD card here. You can see that, but it appears that there is another SD card there. That's interesting. I'll have to check that out. Uh, we're not going to dig into this. This is kind of beyond the scope of this video, but we may have to dig into that a little bit more. Let's go ahead and take this back off, see what's inside. And now we have our device open, and we've used several tools to do that. Looks like everything's working. So if you're interested in that, make sure you hit like and subscribe down below. So when I do release more content on the Link 4 handheld gaming device, which I do plan to do, you will get that notification. Remember, if you would like to check out the Life Goo yourself, I will have all the links in the video description down below. There's also a companion blog post for this video where I'll have additional information, uh, a few more comparisons between this and the iFu if you want to check it out. The only thing I don't like about the LifeGoo is that I have all of those extra tools and I really just don't have any place to put them. Now, if we want to compare prices, let's go over to the computer. You can see the LifeGoo is $46.99, the iFu is $57.95. I think we have life goo for the win. So I am going to no longer recommend the iFu as my preferred little precision screwdriver. I am going to recommend the life goo. If you're looking for a really cool precision screwdriver that goes into an aluminum case like this, that's pretty impressive. That's a good model right there. I like that. And again, I do have to, in all honesty, thank LifeGoo. They're the ones that sent this over here. I was not expecting for there to be a big enough difference that I would recommend this over the iFu, but I have to admit, this is nicer and it is less expensive. So again, I am recommending the LifeGoo. Add the goo to your life with LifeGoo. I'm pretty sure that's not a motto they're using. So if you want more information about the iFu, that's right here. If you'd like some additional information on the Mega 65, which this would be a good tool if you gotta do some repairs on the Mega 65 to use, that's gonna be right here. So thank you for watching and Retrocombs out.